Hey friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. I want to tell you about something that we've done and I really want to encourage you to try it too. We planned on our calendar this last year to have a fire drill on a Sunday morning, a tornado drill on a Wednesday evening, and we also practiced an intruder drill. And we were surprised at the things we would learn. Now, we thought long and hard about how to do this and where, when we would do it and where. And so we chose a fire drill to happen on a warmer day before it got cold uh, in the winter. And it was a smart move. And, and we had an alternate day in case there was bad weather or raining or something because we didn't really want that to happen. And, and I tell you what, you might think, well, we're not going to do that on a Sunday morning. It was great. And I had a few teachers who were like, I don't know, on a Sunday morning. But then after we did it, they were thrilled. They were so glad because we learned so much. And we had over communicated as much as we could to parents in a letter, in an email, hanging signs on the door. Next week, we're having a fire drill at this time. So be prepared. And because if they had an infant or they had something like that that they didn't want, to, to go, they just needed to know so that way they would keep them or at least tell us that we'd be able to plan accordingly. And it went beautifully. I'm going to tell you, we, we set our time. Everyone was ready. They knew the destination that we were going to take all of the children out the certain doors. It was marked in their classrooms. They had their clipboards. They knew to take the check-in roll with them so that when they got to the location where we would be safe, they would be able to check their roll. On the back of the clipboard, uh, underneath that, there was a, a red sheet of paper and a green sheet of paper. So once they checked their roll, they held up green uh, for their class that they had everyone, or they held up red that they needed help right now. And so someone could go to them immediately. We had people uh, in places to help them get out. I also had some of our other ministers just out watching, not assisting, just watching for any pinch points that we might have. And you know what? We were able to clear almost 400 preschoolers and children that day in four minutes in our location. We were great. We went to the building next door to us. We crossed the uh, parking lot and up a sidewalk and into the other building and everyone was in their places in that building uh, in the front of it in the foyer. So that way, whenever it's time for parents to come and pick up, uh, because they would, if the whole building is being evacuated, they would be coming. I instructed the teachers that as they were, because we had a little time of instruction in that location, and I simply spoke to everyone out inside the building and got their attention and said, I would expect, <laughs> I don't know why we wouldn't, while we're making our way over there, that there wouldn't be parents who would be rushing to us trying to get their kids. And teachers, you would have to use your strong teacher voice and say, no, you must take, go with us. Help me get these kids in a safe place, and then you can check your children out. You can't pluck them out of line and get them all there. And I told them, you be very forceful about that and getting all the children there before anyone's checked out because we want to make sure we have everyone and we want to be able uh, to check them out in a, really in an orderly way. And so the checkout thing worked out pretty good. Certain teachers were designated to go outside the doors to not let anyone in. And they would open the door and tell the person on the inside of the door, we need so-and-so in third grade. And that teacher would mark them off the list, let them go, they'd be joined with their parents, and then they could leave. But everything had to be done very much in order for us to be able to account for all of those children in that time. And I thought it went really good. We did learn several things, and it was so easy to fix it. Matter of fact, the kids thought it was a lot of fun. They have, uh, they've done that kind of thing at school, but the preschoolers hadn't, and they still thought it was fun. All the babies, the little ones, they went in the evacuation crib that's designated in every room. They went right out the doors, a teacher in the front, a teacher in the back. They led them all the way to their safe place. And you know what? 
It wasn't scary at all. They sang to them, they talked to them, and got them where they needed to be. The little bittiest ones could even be put in their carriers, and two carriers can be put in uh, in just one of those evacuation beds. And so we were able to really take everyone out. We had people in the building checking every room and every bathroom that everyone was clear. And you know what? It went beautifully. We were probably in the whole thing for, I don't know, 12 minutes. And we were all back in our classrooms and going back at it in our classes and really celebrating what a great job we did. We cheered and, and it was terrific. I want to encourage you to think about having a fire drill on Sunday morning. Anytime that fire alarm goes off, you need to go. All right. Well, in part two, I'm going to be talking about having a tornado drill. And then uh, in part three, I'll talk about having an intruder drill. And so stay tuned. Hey, listen, be sure to check Mr. Mark's classroom and sign up for all the ideas that we're sending out that you can be on this mailing list and get this information uh, every time we publish it. We want you to be informed and resourced. And one of the best ways to get resourced is to look at classroom swag. I have lots of ideas on that, and you can make all the copies you want and hand them out to your teachers. So be sure to check that out. You can go to classroomswag.com or at mrmarksclassroom.com. You can just uh, click the sidebar, Classroom Swag. Check it out. There's a free sample waiting for you right there, too.